All right, Tyrese. Um, take me through last year and, and kind of <laughs> it's an interesting first year for you, wasn't it? I mean, not the easiest early. And then it felt like you, you kind of figured it out down the stretch. But just kind of what was it like? Yeah, it was it was tough at the start. Um, obviously, going through a really bad shooting slump. I haven't been through. It was probably my worst shooting slump I've been through in, in my career, and uh, it was obviously difficult. But I think I had the right support system, and and my teammates, coaches, family. They were all really, um, really, you know, they were powerful. What they said was powerful to, to me, and and I think that just helped me get over that hump. And then I think the biggest change when Joan went down, and, and I sort of had to step into my role as as the point guard. I think that was the the sort of key to my season, sort of where it just sort of flipped in my in my head, and and it was almost like I was forced to to have 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 that. So I think that was that was a really big factor, and and I think that's what sort of elevated my game quicker than if he if he hadn't got had gotten injured. What did they tell you when you weren't making shots? Keep shooting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They they seen all the work that I put in, and and everyone knew that I was a good shooter. So just keep keep shooting, keep getting reps, and and um, yeah, just keep on a fight. It definitely, it definitely got in my head. I think Portland, uh, Portland was was the big one, because yeah. it was it wasn't so much I was missing shots, as I just wasn't taking shots. So that was the biggest thing that my mom actually picked up on, and my dad. Um, so my mom called me, and I think I had two attempts in one game, and she was like, "What are you doing? Like, I obviously know you know you're struggling and stuff, but um, so that was probably the biggest the biggest adjustment. Um, you know, just just having to just stay confident and, and keep working. You know, when when my shots went for. Come on, three, come on. Tennessee in the second half has made 50% of their shots. Oh, come on. The Tennessee Volunteers are going to the Sweet 16. When, when the season's over, and it kind of just ends, right? I mean, it's kind of suddenly yeah, there. Yeah. What was your mindset? Season's over, and... A lot of people are thinking you and Flip are both going to be gone. Take me through that decision and, and how difficult it was, or maybe it wasn't to come back. I said to my family and, and, and my agents and stuff, I wanted to make my decision first. Like I just wanted to, to get it out of the way and, and be comfortable with it. So we had talks really early. Like they, they you know, walked me through what they heard, and, and me and my family talked a lot. And um, I just felt like it was the right decision for me to come back and. Obviously, reclassifying, like you said, and then I already had a whole year to develop and, and and make steps forward that I wouldn't have been able to have if I didn't. So it was almost like a zero year for me. So I, I could have I could have had the worst season in my life and still been a freshman this year. So I think it was just a, a good decision for me to come back overall, just having that confidence, you know, being a, a sophomore freshman in a sense. What what's going to be the difference, you think, and even what people are going to see out of you this year from the second half, even when you. When you start to play well, what are you gonna what are you gonna add to your game this year? Well, I think just being an overall threat, you know, on and off the ball on offense, and then just doing what I was doing back in the season on defense. I thought I impacted impacted um, defensively really well in the last year, and I think one of the biggest things this year that's gonna change is just my leadership role, and um, I'll be you know obviously a point guard, and and but just having having that year of experience with Jerm and Ryan and, and Flip and Mark, those sort of guys that, that were a lot of you know the vocal point of last year's team and just sort of getting them at our pace and, and not letting them fall behind. What are the expectations for this team? I mean last year you guys came in, obviously you're Duke. Right, people are expecting you to win at a high level, maybe go to Final Four. This year, I feel like with you and Kyle back, with all the freshmen, people are saying like, "Hey, this is either you know best team or right there with Kansas, one one A or one B." I think last year there was a lot of uncertainty just because we had new staff, new players, like 13 out of 15 guys were new. So I think there was just a lot of people in in doubt, like not knowing what what could happen. It could go A or B. Whereas this year they've sort of seen how we play and, and seen the players in, in a Duke uniform under Shire, so they sort of know what to expect a little bit more. Um, I think the expectation is really high. I think everyone knows, especially the freshmen, you know, they, they come in and they, they all know what we expect from them and, and what they expect from themselves. And 
I think Shy, you know, once we start getting further into the season, he's going to emphasize it even more. And I think everyone's just on the same page of winning, and, and that's that's all we care about. You mentioned earlier Shire in year two compared to year one. Like again, even watching him last year from beginning to end of the year, how much more comfortable do you think he got? Yeah, I think he was he was a lot more comfortable. I think it's just confidence, you know, just getting reps at it. He's obviously coached, assistant coached a lot, but you know, being a head coach coach at such a big program is, you know, a lot of pressure and, and it's it's a big jump. So I think he you know, he did really good good last year and he's only gonna get better this year. Listen, appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. Thank you. You got it.